This is the Eagle, 44,000 tons, the biggest ship in the Royal Navy, last of a lineage that would do credit to Debrett. There have been Eagles in the Navy since 1592. The 10th captured Gibraltar in 1704. The 20th escorted convoys to Malta in 1942. This is the 21st Eagle. Built in 1951 at a cost of 15 million pounds, refitted 10 years later for another 30 million. Earlier this year, she made a trip from Mombasa in Kenya, up the coast of Africa to Aden, and across the Indian Ocean to Singapore. This is a record of that voyage. Where are you going? Where are you going? We should be right there. Good job. Okay. are her squadrons of Vixen and Buccaneer fighter bombers. The Buccaneers have nuclear capability. These planes land at between 120 and 135 miles an hour and are brought to a halt in 80 yards. Flying goes on almost round the clock, for without constant practice, the pilots soon lose touch. OK, stop him. The captain, Captain John Roxburgh, DSO, DSC and Bar, was a wartime submarine commander. The chips. What wheel have we got on? Come on, start with 30. Bring around quickly. Start with 30. East 5. East 5. Five stop, good on, sir. Steer zero, one zero. Steer zero, one zero. Inside of B boiler. B boiler. Increase your steam drum pressure desired value up to 420, please. Although the ship has all the comforts of air conditioning, the temperature in the engine room in tropical waters often is as high as 120 degrees. bearing. Well, I know what 
I threw away my last bomb. I wasn't going to waste any more. Anyway, we're then plugged in. I made it all right. While you were just about to go in, they said change channel. Well, don't change channel when you're in. And that's why I came up and said, stay on eight. I couldn't see him back there. I sort of thought, he's sitting low. I couldn't tell where he was. And he didn't know where he was. Then I started flashing it. Lunch. Oh, fine, right as No, the bloody thing's got to be. Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it, it has very sensitive throttle movement. <laughs> Commander, you're Taylor, 665. Last orders, please, sir. Thank you, Bill. Last orders, please. The traditional rum ration is issued daily. Neat for petty officers, two parts watered for ratings. A special ticket prevents the thirsty from coming back for more. The seamen of Nelson's day, with their diet of salt pork and maggoty biscuits, would have been aghast at what is served to their successors. Often the Eagle's crew have a choice of up to ten dishes, including steak, lobster and trout. Thank you. 
to relax completely. Just relax. Good. have a problem trying to find the records that have been requested for from home. With the average age of the ship's company of 2,700 men at 25, the pops are the most popular. The first request I have is beautifully printed in a large hand and comes from 62 Wollstone Avenue, Bromley Farm Estate, Conduton in Cheshire, and says, Dear Mud, would you please play the following record for my boyfriend, Michael Barlow of Mess 4SO. It's Something Wonderful by Shirley Bassett. And please tell Michael that I love him very much and I'm wishing the months away until August 66. Thanking you, Jean MacDonald, to you, Steward Michael Barlow. He will not always say what you would have him say but now and then he'll say something wonderful the thoughtless things he'll do will hurt and worry you then all at once to flying stations. Right, the exercise tonight is a glow strike upon uh, the escort, which, uh, plane guard escort, which we will place astern once we've turned. Four buccaneers to strike with glow worms and two inch RP. The strike will be opposed by a pair of low set vixens controlled by the gannet. And in addition, we shall be launching again uh, halfway through your sortie. So in fact, the buccaneers will have to look slippy to get the full benefit from it to get in, get their, all their attacks in.
most of the petty officer's messes, there are bars like this. Ratings are allowed two cans of beer a day. Petty officers, three pounds worth a week. With beer at a shilling a can, this works out at about nine cans per petty officer per day. In hot climates, many of them get through it all. Call the hands, call the hands, call the hands. At 8 o'clock each morning, the ship's commander listens to requests and judges transgressors. On the 1st of February, sir, did I send himself that me from 0700 to 0730, namely 30 minutes. I investigated this case, sir. Newton came on board at 0730. When I asked him where he'd been, he stated that he'd been in a hotel and hadn't got a shake, although he'd put down for one, and then subsequently got onto the wrong bus. Newton, what have you got to say in answer to the charge? Well, I spent the night in the hotel, sir, and uh, I didn't get a shake after the lady. And I, I missed the, what I was told to catch the number four bus down to the jetty. And because I 
because I was getting enough lights so I missed that and saw the lift and brought disappearing towards the ship and I had to wait for the next one, sir. And when did the next boat leave? About 25 minutes later, sir. I got on board 7.30, sir. Well, you know as well as I do, Newton, that it's up to you to get back at 0700 or whenever your leave expires. And uh, although I sympathise with you if the buses uh, don't run to time or if you miss them, or if you don't get a shake in your hotel, that's entirely your problem. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you must get back on time. For 30 minutes adrift. Will you admit the charge? Yes, sir. I find the case proved. I'm going to award you two days' months of pay. Two days leave stopped. Two days long to pay, two days leave stopped. On cap, right turn, right to the quick part for the regulator. Whenever flying is on, helicopters hover nearby in case a pilot crashes in the sea. The Vixens and Buccaneers need such a high rate of takeoff that they can only be launched by catapult at 120 miles an hour. Below decks, laundry, tailoring and shoemaking is done not by the Navy but by a firm of Chinese civilians from Singapore specially contracted for the purpose. Every morning the medical officer makes his rounds of the sick bed. My books and papers away. Sit by your beds. Keep silence. Any problems? No, sir. Right, let's start, shall we? Yes, <clears throat> this vixen has wing lock trouble. Wing lock, one, two, four. Sound like an old man of 40. <coughs> All right. Give a little cough. <coughs> Say 99. 99. Again. 99. Again. 33, you're joking. There's something wrong. Yeah. 38. Oh, my God. Yeah, I must be losing weight. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say with or without turnips? I think it's a turnip. It's a bad idea. Turnip is favourite? Yes, sir. Is that the style? Yes, sir. Today? Yes, sir. Everywhere. You, in, yes. in England, it's turn up yes. and stop. Yes, sir. Well, I'll turn up, please. What's next, sir? Late. Late? Oh, yeah. Not too long, all Not right? Not too long, yeah. No, I don't want to drag it on my shoes. Yeah. Now, watch what you're doing now. Yeah. Bit touchy about that piece here. Yeah.
On Saturday mornings, the commander inspects the messes. Three or two minutes, cleared off around, ready for your inspection, sir. Thank you. Did you enjoy your run ashore in Aden? Yes, sir, very much, sir. What did you buy there? Only a record player. How much did that cost, sir? Uh, eight pounds, actually, sir. Eight pounds. Good value? I think so, yes, sir. Indeed. What about the rest of the mess? Did they spend all the money? Lots, sir. There's about seven record players, three or four tape recorders, cameras, projectors. Do you have any trouble with noise in your mess? With all these? Record time, sir. With all the lot going at once. But on the whole, your mess deck looks very clean, but the painting is beginning to go yellow, and it's time you started to touch up the paint work. How's your uh, food today, Forrest? Enjoying it? Good, splendid. These have just come out of the oven, bag, have they? Yes, they have, sir. They look uh, very reasonable. Can I have a look at the cakes that we're going to give the best messes yes, this sir. week? Yes, plain fruit cakes this week. Just a, a plain uh, fruit cake. Yes, look a very rich fruit cake. Yes. Who's going to uh, receive these? These are for your tea, sir. Well, in, in the wardroom? They are, sir, yes. Goodness me. They look very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Once a week, a supply ship comes alongside to top up with stores. One week, the Eagle's crew consume 12 tonnes of potatoes, 24,000 eggs, 200 gallons of ice cream, 125 gallons of rum, 4 tonnes of bread, 7 tonnes of meat, and 40,000 cans of beer.
hour this evening will take place between 15.30 and 16.30. Save the Queen, God bless our dinner, and make us thankful. Amen. Amen. Although day and night flying is almost continuous, about once a month the officers let their hair down with what they call a Saturday night at sea. But there are no revels for the captain. Right. Alone in his cabin below the bridge, he is, while the ship is at sea, always on duty. For my next trick, I will stand on my head and bring free. <laughs> Keep your elbow up.
Would you kindly leave the mess? To be sent out of the mess is not a serious disciplinary offence, only a minor breach of good manners, forgotten as soon as done. had the privilege of toasting the Queen sitting down ever since the days of the wooden warships when there wasn't enough headroom to stand up. Gentlemen, the Queen. The Queen. The Queen. out of her sector. Tonight, gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the Roman Gallian people. You all remember from the uh, Christmas show when they did this sketch on the Christmas show, Ryan the Gallian. Well, since then, they've had a bath and doby. And they look very sweet. <laughs> Cheers. Takes bottle off bar. Play, play. <laughs> Well, don't go down to the shrimp boats, Mama. Dad's coming home with the crabs. The instrument that this rating is playing consists of a rubber tube and funnel borrowed from the sick bay.
On the last Sunday before entering harbour, the whole ship's company parade on the flight deck to be inspected by the captain. This elegant formal ceremony takes place about once every three months. Ships come dear. 200 officers, 1,502 men. Remain the scope fast, sir. down the magazines mostly, sir. We do one day and four on the flight deck. Most of them below. Perhaps I've been blind. Any rating who wishes can, for the price of one pound a minute, and without all the horrors of STD, ring up his wife or girlfriend at home. Hello London, hello GCN5, 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 this is Warship Eagle, Warship Eagle, Warship Eagle, listening 17349. Hello? Hello? Will you speak up please, Mrs. Valentine? Go ahead now. Hello? Hello? This is Valentine here. Hello Pam, darling. Brian. How are you? Fine, thanks, darling. Oh, yeah? Were you surprised? Pardon? Were you surprised at the news? Yes, I was, actually. It was about, what, three days early, wasn't it? Oh, we're both fine, darling. Pardon? We're both fine. Are you? Yes. What colour eyes? Blue eyes, dark blue eyes. Dark blue. And dark hair, well, dark hair at the moment. Yeah. You've been crying very much. Yeah. Got all his fingers and toes. Got all those, yes. Perfect. Absolutely. Oh, that's good. Brilliant, marvellous. Great. You have to stay. You won't be quite longer before you're home now. No, I don't think so. When's your mum coming up? When's your mum coming up? I think she's coming up on Monday. Yeah. Well, I'll have to go now, darling. Okay, darling. Take care of yourself. Okay, I'll help you. Bye-bye. At least once a week, and more often when the ship is near land, the mail is flown on board by the ship's gannet. Stimson, thank you. Harrison? Robinson? Robinson? Hey. Yes, it's from my boss. Good evening. Here is tonight's edition of Eagle Roundup. Now, when we were changing over stations from the Middle East to the Far East station, 
yesterday, we also exchanged a couple of signals between ships, uh, between Ark Royal and ourselves. The first one from the, the captain to Ark Royal read as follows. It's all yours. See you on the 12th of March. Have a good time in our home port. The birds should give you a good run for your money. Uhuru, uhuru. To which Ark made this reply. We will keep the nest warm for you. Meanwhile, the delights of the Orient await you. The voyage is over, and after 30 days at sea, the crew will soon swarm ashore to taste the dubious pleasures of Singapore. It's sad to think, even if it's necessary, that in a few years' time, this graceful ship and her sisters, Ark Royal, Victorious and Hermes, will all be scrapped. They are, in a way, the last survivors of almost four centuries of British imperial sea power. <laughs>